I have indeed, Taylor. So we both just found elephants at the same time. I smelt this one before I saw him, though. And you can see he is in serious must. You see that sweating from the temporal gland. Beautiful bull elephant. Not, not the biggest. Um, one of the biggest that we've seen around here. He's still a magnificent elephant. And he is quite big. But he does look fairly young still, I think. Probably, um, I mean, it's always difficult to gauge the age of these animals. But I would say he's probably close to around 30. Maybe somewhere around there. But he's in serious must. You can also see that moisture between his back legs. They drip from the penis and it's a strong pungent smell. A lot of people do think that they, well they do get somewhat temperamental when they are in must. But this male seems very relaxed with us being around so far. He hasn't shown any signs of any aggression. <laughs> Andrew, you say, oh wow, this is beautiful. It is indeed, Andrew. It's, and a lot of you know how much I love seeing elephants, especially these big bulls. Such a nice sighting. And there's beautiful light on him now too, this morning sunlight. John, um, a good question about the male elephants in Musta. Now, John, it varies. The the older bulls will come into Must, um a, a, a couple times a year, but that period of Must will last for, for a very long time, actually, or much longer than the younger bulls. The younger bulls will come into Must every, every so often, but if there are any big dominant bulls around, they suppress that must that comes into the younger males. So um, they'll suppress it and it disappears again for a while. And each period of must that the younger bulls go into will be much shorter. So I can't give you an exact amount um, that they, that all the amount of times they come into must each year. But but with bigger, larger bulls, it will be a few times a year and will last quite some time. Little head shake there from him. Lulu, so that liquid that's seeping from the temporal gland, it's basically hormones and testosterone that gets secreted from those temporal glands. The gland secretes a liquid, and that's all that that is that comes out. Um, I don't know exactly what it is uh, what it consists of but it's it's obviously got a lot of the the hormones and the testosterone and and that gland secretes a lot of that liquid um very much similar i think to what gets secreted uh, from between the legs from the penis well this is obviously slightly different from the gland itself but but a very pungent smelling liquid and you can smell it immediately and like i said we smelt it before we saw this this elephant. Even Craig smelt it. <laughs> so Kylie, you asked, why is it called must? So Kylie, the word must, and it's spelt M-U-S-T-H, is originally an Indian word, I believe. I think that's where it originates from. Again, you can all check me. Oh, let's just see what this bull decides to do. It's walking closer. Hold on a second. You can see they get, they get a little bit edgy at times, these bulls, when they are in must. Now, we are a lot lower down than him at the moment. Let's see, I'm just going to sit quietly for a second, Let's see if he walks past. Oh, beautiful big male. Good morning. We might get a little head shake from him, depends where, which way he wants to go. Now, this is a, a 
an interesting position we're in because like I say we're much lower than him. Wow. Good morning. <laughs> so you can see we're actually quite close to him now too. There he goes. Oh, he just came to have a look, make sure we weren't a threat. Um, and again, keeping your voice calm, quiet, not starting the vehicle, making too much noise. They usually relax in a little bit. You could see he just wanted to have a look at us and see if we were a threat in Big Bull. Just having a look and in must. But what a nice sighting. That was great. He was so close to us, right there in front of us. But with him standing on this bit of a slope, looking down at us, made him look even bigger. <clears throat> oh, can really smell him now, that very strong, pungent smell. Off he goes.